Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Android customization, specifically focusing on how to install a fantastic Magisk module, the Mint Launcher. This module promises to transform your device's interface, bringing a sleek, clean, and highly customizable launcher experience right to your fingertips. We'll go through the installation process step by step, making sure you have all the information you need to get it up and running. Before we jump into the exciting part of the installation, let's quickly re-emphasize the prerequisites. To successfully install and use the Mint Launcher Magisk module, your device absolutely needs to be running Android 5, which is also known as SDK 21 or any newer version. Once you've secured the module's file, which is typically a.zip, archive, open up your Magisk Manager or Kernel SU application. From the main interface, you'll want to tap on the module's icon at the bottom. Then, you'll usually see a floating action button, often represented by a plus symbol, or an option like Install from Storage or Install from Internal Storage. Tap on that, and a file browser will open up. Navigate to the location where you save the downloaded module file, usually in your Downloads folder. Select the module file, and the flashing process will commence automatically. A very important, almost critical, step specifically for our Kernel SU users. After you've completed the installation, you absolutely must open your Kernel SU app, navigate into its settings, and meticulously ensure that the option Unmount Modules by default is disabled. If this setting remains enabled, the Mint Launcher module simply won't function correctly, and you'll likely encounter issues. After the reboot, you should ideally find the Mint Launcher module active, ready to give your device that fresh, clean new look you've been waiting for. However, I've run into a bit of a snag on one of my test devices, and I want to address it directly because you might experience something similar. I've been trying to get this module to work on my Redmi Note 7 Pro, which is currently running a custom ROM, specifically superior OS based on Android 15. And unfortunately, I've encountered consistent crashing issues with the Mint Launcher. It just won't seem to stabilize. My recommendation here, if you're facing similar crashes on your device, particularly on a newer Android version or a specific custom ROM, is to first double check that you followed every single installation step, meticulously, especially the kernel SU unmount setting if you're using it. So, while the Mint Launcher is a fantastic module if this video helped you out, especially if you got the Mint Launcher working, or if you're facing the same crashing issues and have found a solution, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next one.